good morning. This morning we are out at the Village Creek Drying Beds. It is a, actually a sewage treatment plant uh, here in Arlington off of Green Oaks. I'll put maps and information. As you can see behind me, there's a long road and there's a gate back up at the end of that road that's usually open. You can come down and there's a little parking area here where you can park your car. Sometimes their gate at the end of the road there is closed. And if it is, you park across the street at a little sports uh, park, city park, sports complex up there with baseball fields and such. And then you'll have to hike up that road to get to the uh, drying beds here. So, and I'll make a note on the map too as to where that parking lot is too in the name of the uh, park. I forget it off the top of my head. And then you, once you come in and park and come up that road, up behind me, you can see that gate. And as you can see next to it, there's a little pedestrian gate that's open. You go up and walk through there and up over that hill. And beyond that hill are the actual drying beds. It's a series of ponds uh, of various sizes. And generally there are a lot of birds. We are out here right now. It is uh, late February, uh, the 23rd, 24th, I forget, off the top of my head. So uh, there will be waterfowl and such here we'll go see. And then I've been told that in the summer if you come out this area is full of Mississippi kites that are out here eating all the insects and uh, other birds so there's a variety of birds sometimes you'll see other wildlife we came out one morning and saw a bobcat I didn't get a photo he took off before I could see it and coyotes uh, nutria a variety of animals out here so we're gonna head up over the hill see what awaits us on this beautiful uh, February morning well, I just walked up the road that behind me, just down the road, you can't see it very well. There's that gate that I was on the other side of it, we parked there. And it's just a short little hike you can see up the road. And then you get out to where the drying beds are. You see all the ponds. There's enough water now that they're pretty full. And then we'll continue on down this road. And there are trails that'll lead off to the sides. And there's a, quite a few ponds out here. There's, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, there they are. There's uh, quite a few ducks, some geese, there's seagulls flying overhead. So we've seen quite a few birds already. I haven't even really got started. So we're gonna head down and start wandering around. See what else we can see. Now, if you go down that road there, and that where it goes at the end of those ponds, if you follow that trail all the way back up that way, you'll come to a levee. And the, on the other side of that levee is River Legacy Park. You can actually cross over that levee. There's an opening in the fence uh, for people to cross over. So you can actually park there at River Legacy Park by Raccoon Pavilion. Come over the levee and enter the drying beds from that area. Or you can come out here and access River Legacy Park from the drying beds. So you can crisscross back and forth. But it gives you extra options. But uh, there's lots of birds, lots of activity. So let's go see what's going on today. come down and that little trail I was just pointing out I was standing back up on that rise just a moment ago and we've come down and this is a trail I was referring to and as you can see it's there's a clearly marked trail if you'll follow this this will take you straight back up to a levee that will lead into River Legacy Park and then as you walk down this trail the large pond that you can see from up there is on that side and then as you go along on this side here it starts with a big field but there's a stand of trees there behind me over my shoulder and then beyond that is a pond and there'll be another little trail or um, rise that separates the smaller ponds that'll go off in between them there's a series of about five or six ponds down that side that are all separated by a little uh like a levee and a stand of trees that you can go along and you'll see quite a few birds as we go along there i've already seen on the ponds northern shovelers mallards canada geese uh, laughing gulls flying overhead, buzzers flying overhead as well, uh, black vultures. And so we're going to wander along and see what else we can see that's going down this trail here. We've made our way about halfway down uh, that trail that leads off in between the parks. And as you can see behind me, there's one of the little levees that separates the ponds that you can go out on. I went out on that one a little bit ago and saw some hooded mergangers. They were way on the far end of the pond, so I'm not sure if I got any decent pictures of them because they were so far away. But you can wander off on some of them, wander off on some of these trails. Um, 
levees. Some of them are a little more adventurous than others, so you know you want to wear good hiking boots and jeans and stuff out here because it's uh, not like city parks that are all cleaned up and neat and everything. I mean, the main trails are not bad, but these little side trails can be a little bit more adventurous. But you know, you get up and then you can get closer to some of the birds and wildlife. We saw what looked like some nutria dens and haven't seen any other animals, but seen a fair number of birds so far. Um, beautiful day so far. Turn this way. And as you can see, Joe walking away down there. A little bit further down is the levee. You can't see as well. I want to get down there. I will get a little video of the levee so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's keep moving a little further on down then. finish up our day we're out at the entrance as you can see me behind me there's the gate where you come in and drive up to where we parked the main sign there <clears throat> all the traffic you hear is from Green Oaks which is behind me and then across the street there across Green Oaks is the parking lot for the uh, city park over there again I'll post the name of it and everything when I get back <clears throat> so it's uh, you can park over there and walk in and you have to hike down that road or you can come in if the gates are open like we did and drive up and park up closer to the actual drying beds if you do have to cross green oaks be very careful it's a lot of traffic very dangerous uh so you have to you know so watch out for traffic but thanks for coming along uh hope you had a great time enjoying the video uh be sure to like share subscribe and i will see you next time have a great day